Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Ray. A young lady from Africa has developed a facial recognition software and it has won her an award. She is called Charlotte Gesson. She's, she's an Ivorian tech entrepreneur. As she developed this amazing software specifically for identifying black people and it has won her the 2020 Royal Academy of Engineering's Africa Prize for Engineering and Innovation. Hi, my name is Charlotte Gesson. I'm the software engineer, co-founder and CEO of Billiscope. Over the past decade, we have noticed that financial institutions are overspending more than 100 billion dollars a year to meet the KYC, know your customer requirements, and to fight against online identity frauds. I am a team with a bit base API, an extremely low-cost, highly scalable, and secure identity verification system using face recognition and AI technologies. Our work aims to help financial institutions to fight against all and identity frauds and to enable local people to apply for financial services, get verified remotely, in real time, and from anywhere in Africa. Being part of Africa Prize has been a great opportunity for us to extend our network and to improve our business model. We are currently in the commercialization phase and we are looking for key partners to help us to unlock new business opportunities and close more sales. We invite you to join us and to support our work. Thank you. So Charlotte and her team developed this software and it uses artificial intelligence and facial recognition to verify identities of people remotely and in real time. She said she designed this specifically for black people because most of the times, she says, black people are misidentified five to ten times higher compared to white people. And she says this is specifically meant for Africans and the black people and it can also be integrated into the already existing systems. The software that Charlotte and her team developed uses the live photo of as an individual and matches it with a photo of an already existing document in the database, let's say a national ID or passport or driver's license. And then she adds that for online applications and maybe websites uh, which have their system integrated in them, the user can use uh, the webcam still to be able to match it with a picture of an already existing document uh, within the system. Charlotte also added, I'm just going to quote her words, for the person trying to submit their application, we ask them to switch on their camera to make sure the person behind the camera is real and not a robot. We are able to capture the face of the person live and match their image with the one of the existing document the person submitted. She also added that the software can be integrated into already existing applications and systems for identity verification and is targeted at mostly financial institutions on the continent of Africa. One of the judges of these awards also mentioned that we are very proud to have Charlotte and her team win this award. It is essential to have technologies like facial recognition based on the African communities and we are confident their innovative technology will have far-reaching benefits for the continent. This young lady called Charlotte is a business owner. She has her own tech company known as Best Group, based in Accra, Ghana. She says that this idea of developing a software came to her when she was studying at a, a technological school within Accra, Ghana. Uh, so she was doing her research uh, with her group of colleagues and they realized that there is actually a problem of cyber security within very many institutions within West Africa. And they thought, you know what, uh, this is a great uh, area to tap into and try to do our, uh, their contribution, you know, into developing a software that can help identify and verify identities of different customers, you know, and different individuals. One that these already, already existing institutions can be able to integrate into their own systems and be able to curb the problem of cyber security. Now running her own business, Shallow told CNN that winning this award boosted her confidence as a young lady leading a team of men and also she said that she hopes this can encourage a very many women in tech and also women to do startups as well. There are very many startups but not many or even maybe a very small percentage of, me, of them are led by women, most of them are led by men. I'm going to quote her words as she said, um, I'll be happy if people are inspired by my story being the first woman to win the Africa Prize for engineering innovation and by my work as a woman in tech. 
Thank you so much uh, for watching this story. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section about this young lady, innovative lady who is trying to do something positive to contribute to the African continent and the African black people as well. Uh, check out uh, my YouTube page, Instagram and Twitter at Ray Kembabazi. The links are pinned on top of the comment section and see you on the next story. Bye.